Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday arrived in Kazan, Russia to attend the 16th BRICS summit where he is likely to hold bilateral meetings including with Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese President Xi Jinping. India values close cooperation within BRICS which has emerged as an important platform for dialogue and discussion on a range of key issues concerning global developmental agenda. Modi said in a statement before embarking on the two-day visit. The main day of the summit is on the 23rd of October and there are two main sessions, a closed plenary in the morning followed by an open plenary uh, in the uh, afternoon devoted to the main theme of uh, the summit. Uh, the leaders are also expected to adopt uh, the Kazan Declaration which will lay the path forward uh, for BRICS uh, this document is presently being uh, negotiated in uh, Kazan. The BRIC summit ends on the 24th of October. The BRIC as a formal grouping started after the meeting of the leaders of Brazil, Russia, India and China in St. Petersburg in 2006. It was agreed to expand BRIC into BRICS with the inclusion of South Africa in 2010. In August 2023, it was expanded to welcome five new members, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia and UAE. While four of the above joined in January this year, Saudi Arabia has accepted the invitation but delayed formal joining. As we all know, the BRICS started with uh, five countries, uh, actually four countries, um, uh, Brazil, Russia, China and India, and then South Africa joined in. And last year, we saw a massive expansion of BRICS, where uh, more than, I mean, now it is like 10 countries uh, in BRICS. And um, as per certain estimates, we can see that BRICS, uh, the strength of BRICS have um, increased quite a lot after uh, after the expansion and, um, uh, you know, certain estimates indicate that uh, in terms of purchasing power parity, it is uh, already surpassed uh, the G7. And as I just mentioned, uh, you know, um, various other countries have been showing interest in BRICS. At the summit, leaders are expected to adopt the Kazan Declaration, which is likely to outline strategic priorities for cooperation, including economic collaboration, security initiatives and cultural ties among member states. The theme of this year's summit is Strengthening Multilateralism for Just Global Development and Security. Observers see the BRICS summit as part of the Kremlin's efforts to showcase support from the Global South amid spiraling tensions with the West and help expand economic and financial ties. Proposed projects include the creation of a new payment system that would offer an alternative to the global bank messaging network SWIFT and allow Moscow to dodge Western sanctions and trade with partners.